This is the best defense post patch in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? EA just released a patch that is basically going to absolutely change the way that we play Madden uh, 22. The game is basically, uh, it's not completely fixed. There's still a lot of things that are wrong, but for the most part, they actually gave us a shot at being able to actually get a stop in this game so here is the new meta that you can use and this is really really important to understand because so, so please uh hit the subscribe button that way you don't miss any of the videos we do new videos every single day that can help you get better at the game and in this video what we're going to do is i'm in a game mode because i can't set my uh, adjustments in practice mode wish they would patch that but uh anyways all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our ball in our defense to play ball option defense is on conservative this is really important flats on 30 curl flats on 10 and then hooks are going to be on default. If you want to, you can put them on five. This is the new meta. These two zone drops. And here's why. I'm going to show you. So uh, EA decided that they were finally going to fix the fact that you could basically throw the flat any flat route that you ever want to throw, you could throw them. Now, if someone is just abusing the flats, you can bump those zone drops down to 10. But for most people, I will tell you they're, that you are not going to have to worry too much about the flats. So the play we're going to be coming out in, every single play is pinch two out of two, four, five odd. If you want my full two, four, five odd defensive ebook, it's on sale for $15. I have the best blitzes in the entire game out of this formation. I also have um, a, a guide on how you can actually stop every single meta offense in the game with this. And it's also going to get a major update this week. If you get this guide, one-time purchase of $15, you get free updates for the entire year. So when they release patches, we update the guides for you. That's how it works. So let's jump in. Pinch two, uh, two, four, five odd, and we're going to break this down. So what we're going to do, really, really, really simple. Literally, all we're going to do is we are going to take Williams and we are going to put him on a purple zone. We are then going to take our backside defensive end and we're going to put him onto a, uh, a, a vertical hook. We're going to take the slot corner and we're going to put him on a purple zone. I personally, you can baseline and press if you want to. I'm going to use her this guy. I've got to watch out for any skinny posts or anything like that. I'm going to pass commit. And then what I like to do with the nose tackle is put him in a spy. You can also put him in a bluff blitz if you want a little bit better uh, run defense. So I'm going to put him into a bluff blitz here. And you see, this is what the play art, play art is going to look like. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to run your basic, uh, you know, your basic Z spot and go. And I want to show you what happens when I try to throw a flat route to the right side. What you're going to see here is that 10-yard curl flat is going to let him catch it. He's going to come up and he's going to instantly tackle him. This is what is improved. If you had your flats on anything other than like zero yards, they would never be able to pick that off. So now let's go to one of the, you know, bunch favorite concepts, which is the play flood. So we're going to go over flood. I'm going to put that slot corner in the purple. I'm going to put Thompson in the purple. You could also just man him up on the running back as well. It actually is, you know, really good to do that as well. So anyway, we could do this right here. And, you know, again, we're going to put that three wreck out there. You're also going to notice we're going to get pretty good pressure out of this out of this concept as well. But let's show you the flood concept. So now watch flood. He's going to basically split the difference. I don't even have time to get the ball off. So we're going to jump in to instant replay. And I'm going to show you exactly what happens against the play flood. This is literally the way that I plan to play defense every single play for until someone can dot this up. But as you'll see right here, look at this right here. If I throw this flat... You see how he stays outside. Before, he was not staying outside. He was getting sucked inside. So not only could you throw the flat, but then you could run with the flat for at least 10 yards. Now, you can throw the flat, but he's going to come up and make a, th a tackle for three yards. It's going to force you to have to work a little bit to get open. Now, watch this, though. And this is the important part. This out route that is so good from this formation. Watch how this curl flat is right in the area to pick this off. As you can see, the drops work. The vertical hook zone from this guy follows here to take away the, the snap throw vertical route or whatever. And then as you see, we're going to play pretty solid defense against this incredible, incredible concept. And of course, your user would be working over in this area. Okay, so that is my favorite way to run this defense. Now, what's, really, what's also really cool is in certain situations, we might want to basically send a lot of pressure and try to, you know, basically make them, you know, throw the ball quick. So how would we do that out of this defense? Well, let me show you. We're going to call pinch two. We're going to take our zone drops off. And what we're going to simply do here is we're going to play soft squats. 
We're going to play soft squats. We're going to man up the running back. We're going to stand right here with our user. And I like to go ahead and press coverage if I'm going to do something like this. You don't have to do that. Or baseline and press as well. Um, either way. And if the if the offense goes max protect, so let's say they block seven, even if they block seven, you are going to pretty much guarantee yourself some pressure. And as you can see, the soft squats are going to go absolutely crazy. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going to max protect. All I'm going to do is I'm going to man up the running back with that left side linebacker. And I like to press my coverage to let those soft squats go absolutely nuts and what you are going to see is we are going to get really really good pressure at the quarterback and we're going to be able to pretty much stop everything that they could possibly do if you were and then as a user you're looking for any drags you're basically responsible for drags or crossers obviously the drag was open on that last play but that's my responsibility as the user thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to learn the rest of this defense and how we're going to start clamping down in Madden 22, getting consistent stops, not just one stop, consistent stops against players, go ahead and grab the ebook. There's a link in the description below. You can get the 245 odd defense for just 15 bucks. And like I said earlier, this guide will continue to update over the course of the remainder of the Madden 22 season. I also have several other defenses like the triple, the 335 wide, the 335 odd, as well as some other ones on the way. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss any of the videos. And again, if you want to get the 245 odd defense, there's a link in the description.